Hello, Germany. It's me, NYSE Einstein, from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Have I got some tires for you? I've got a really bad strep throat. I'm sick. I'm going to try to the best of my ability make some sense of what happened today. Draghi, Draghi, Mario. Mario, what are you doing, Mario? Negative interest rates, what does it all mean? That means I'm going to give you $2,500, pay you $2,500 to lend you $10,000, and you're a bank, and then you're going to go out and lend it to someone else. Negative interest rates. The concept is a little bit wild for me. I'm not really clear what's going on. I guess everyone's got to n do what they need to do to stimulate the economy in their country. We had zero interest rates. We lent money to the banks. Banks entered the market, fueled the market. They made money, and everything came back to the way it was, right? So net net it is actually a great idea, but Europe, the way it is, is fragile, and we're starting from below sea level. So the negative interest rate seems like the only option they have, okay? It was sort of a positive thing in some way, I guess, because it's a stimulus, okay? Market popped on it early. It's up 70, 80 points. Not a huge big move. There was a big move in the euro. There was a big move in some other indices and whatnot over the news. Apparently, a lot of people were predicting different sides of this trade already, and so they were long something, short something else, whatever. That's a little way over my threshold today that I don't feel so well. But what ended up happening was, whether it was a comment that he made after the initial report that he wasn't going to lower them anymore or whether it was just the whole reaction that 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 it was it, that this is going to come back to haunt him or what or the, or people started assimilating and trying to understand what negative interest rates means okay that this market sold off like a fury it rolled over in a huge way the euro trade changed the new nyse changed the dow went down the friggin tubes oil sold off i mean it was just a huge sell off from up about 80 to down about a buck 50 and it was really kind of i mean i'm looking at the graph and it just bottomed out there two or three times you know midday right and then it did that thing that the new york stock exchange does when the sell when the people who are selling with determination are done and they're either back out to lunch or they just want to see what's going on, it just did that drift, right? You never shorted, shorted dull market. Well, it just started to drift up, whether it was the people that we've been talking about for weeks and weeks or waiting for these little sell-offs with their shopping list to start getting some bargains. That's possible. Whatever it was, I don't know what sector actually rebounded and whatnot. Surely probably wasn't financials. May have been a little bit of the energy space or whatnot. But we drifted all the way back to positive again. It seemed kind of bizarre. The market did a bob and weave at the end of the day. I didn't get an edge on the day. I'm confused. I'm not sure if this is going to be a successful trade stimulating what's going on in Europe. I don't know how it's going to affect us long term. I'm confused. I don't feel well. I'm going home. I love you all. See you tomorrow. Bye.